Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to talk about convolution integral. Particularly, we are going to see the situation where g of t is convolved with u of t. Now, let's look at the case. Compute y of t that is equal to u of t convolved with u of t. So, when we express this one in terms of integral, the convolution integral is going to look like this integration going from negative infinity to infinity and then u of tau times u of t minus tau d tau. So this is the definition of u of t convolved with u of t in terms of integral. Okay. Now in order to solve this problem we have to find out how does u of tau look like and u of t minus tau look like in graph. Now let's go ahead and draw the graph of u of tau first. u of tau. Sketch u of tau. If you draw u of tau, we, we know that unit step function turn on at 0. So until 0, we are going to have 0. So it goes until 0, until 0, and after that it turns on, and then it extends like this. Okay. And the height is going to be 1. Okay. So this is u of tau. This is u of tau u of tau graph. Now the next thing we have to know is what is u of t minus tau. In order to do this one first uh, we can draw u of negative tau. Let's see how u of negative tau look like and then we can shift it to t. That's u of t minus tau. So sketch u of negative tau. Negative tau is just opposite of this one. So if we just turn this one around that's going to be u of negative tau. u of negative tau goes like this and then oh it should be 0 it should be 0 until 0 and after that it turns on and then extend like this okay just the reverse of this one so this is u of negative tau now u of t minus tau mean this uh, negative tau shifted to t, t units. Okay, let's see how does that one going to look like. Okay, but uh, in this case we don't know where t is, so it's better to avoid this line. So I get rid of this one, and generally I'm going to say. This is going to be same as this negative tau, but now it's not turning on at zero. In, in, instead of that, it's going to turn on at t. Okay, but we don't know where is the t located at. But there are two cases we can have. This is t. Okay, the, for this one, this is zero, height is one. And for this one, this is u of t minus tau. u of t minus tau so this is how it's going to look like now we have to know like there are two cases we can have case one let's look at the case one for case one if t is less than zero if t is less than zero let's see how it's going to look like so we know that okay t is less than zero if t is less than 0, this um, t minus tau is going to be somewhere here. Less than 0 means it should be in the negative axis, right? So it's going to be turning on at t. Let's say this is t. So it's going to be like this. And then it's going to just extend like this. And here you can see we are convolved, we, like we are multiplying u of tau with u of t minus tau. This is t minus tau, and u of tau is this graph, right? So we have to draw that one too. So if we draw that one here, we know that that one turns on at 0. So it's going to go like this. Okay. And you, you can see there's no like um, 
overlap in the non-zero axis, right? Or like there's no overlap in the non-zero. So this means the whole thing is going to be zero. So if we express this one in terms of u of tau times u of t minus tau, since we don't have any overlap in the non-zero ax like axis, this is going to be equal to zero. So if we integrate this one, integration from negative infinity to infinity u of tau times u of t minus tau d tau d tau since this is zero this whole thing is zero if we integrate a zero that's going to give us zero because integral of negative infinity to infinity and zero d tau that's going to give us zero so for this one for the case one it's going to be just zero now let's look at the case two okay let's uh, so we know that when t is less than zero this one is zero let's note that one down somewhere here so when t is less than zero this is zero okay ne the case two is we are going to see when t is greater than or equal to zero let's see what happens in that situation let's get rid of this one Now we are going to see when t is, okay, this is case 2. In case 2, we are going to see when t is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now let's see. t is greater than or equal to 0. So if t is greater than or equal to 0, then u of t minus star should be starting in the positive axis, right? If it's greater than 0, it should be starting at positive axis. Let's say the t is located at here. So it's going to go like this. Right, so this is for u of t minus star. And then u of tau goes like this. It turns on at 0. and then it extends like this and this location is t because this is where u of t minus tau turns on and this is u of tau so when we multiply these two together you can see this is the only part that's going to remain the non-zero part i mean this is zero this is non-zero and here this part is left Let's go ahead and draw that one. Okay, so here we are going to have this part alone. This part alone and the height is 1. Height is 1 and this one is t. This is t. Okay. So this one is what? Like uh, we have 0 to t. 0 to t. Integrating 1 here. The height is 1. d tau. So that's going to give us t. Right. If we, like, if we consider integrating the convolution integration is negative infinity to infinity u of tau u of t minus tau in our case that's just one right u of tau u of t minus tau that's one and going from zero to t if we integrate that one that's going to give us t so these are the two conditions so when t is less than zero we have zero when t is greater than or equal to zero we have t okay so we found out the case uh, two cases now we can express this one in terms of piecewise function so let's go ahead and express this one in terms of piecewise function so here we are going to have what first uh, so if we express combined cases so we have two cases if we combine these two cases 
we know that y of t is equal to u of t convolved with u of t so it's zero when t is less than zero and it is t when t is greater than or equal to zero this is what we found out from here right so when t is greater than or equal to zero it's t when t is less than zero it's zero so this is the piecewise expression and if we express this one in terms of graph so before you can see okay let's erase this one you can see that before c be, like when t is less than zero it's zero and when t is greater than zero it's t t mean it's a ramp function so it's going to go like this okay so this is going to be the graph this is y of t now we can also express this one like this u of t convolved with g of t that is equal to t times g of t t times g of t and that's going to be the final solution for this one so when g of t convolved with g of t we are going to get t times u of t or in piecewise function when t is less than zero it's zero when t is greater than or equal to zero it's t and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching